Hi, my name is Charles St. Charles. I'm a North American nature and wildlife photographer. I've tried to put together a video that spans the entire year and shows both the beauty of nature across the seasons and some great conservation successes, as well as simple projects that anyone can start with before working on more challenging projects. There are always new things to explore in nature at places that you've never been before, but you can also explore wild things right outside your door. Chances are that very close to the building that you live in is an entire world waiting to be explored, but too small for you to notice unless you stop to look for it. It could be a colony of ants, or maybe the beautiful colors of a ladybug, or a hidden bird's nest, or the scales of a butterfly, or moss growing on a building. There are all kinds of secrets just waiting for you to find if you look close enough. In July, one of the secrets that I look into are what I call drops of light. These are tiny dew or raindrops that act as a lens. The drops sit in front of something interesting and bends the light passing through the drop, similar to how the light passes through my camera lens. If you look in the drops just right, you can see the object inside the drop. I like to look in the drops that are positioned right in front of a flower. If you look in the drops just right, you can see the flower inside the drop. If there are many drops, then you can use each one as a lens. Each drop has a slightly different view of the world behind it. Here are drops in a spider's web, each one showing a pond behind the web. Notice that the view of the pond is turned upside down and flipped when the light passes through the drop. Here are some drops in front of poppy blossom. When a bee lands on the poppy behind the drop, you can see the bee tumbling around in each of the drops. Each drop gives you a different angle down to the bee like multiple cameras recording different views of the scene at the same time. Here are many different drops on a stem after a light rain. Inside of each drop is a view of cosmo flowers in bloom, a secret garden hidden inside each drop. Just think about it, if there's that much beauty hidden in a few inches of a stem, then what wonderful treasures are you walking by every single day and not noticing? Nature is incredible and mysterious and will share all kinds of marvelous things with you if you take the time to look and get to know her. When you get done watching this, please leave a post about projects that you know of or maybe have worked on to help nature. I'd like to cover more stories like that and pass on the inspiration of what we can accomplish when we try.